Hey everybody, Pastor Brian. Happy Thursday. Hope your day and your week are going well. Hey, want to share first and foremost a word of thanks. Thank you for just your comments, your sharing of Monday's video with other people. Um, just thank you for, for letting others know that you're doing this Red Letter Challenge. What a blessing it is uh, to, for me to get that encouragement from you and, and to share that with others, to let others know that, hey, I'm doing this and, and I'm just excited that you're excited about what God is going to do. I've been able to have a few conversations already with people about conversations they're having about Jesus, um, ways that this has been encouraging to them. Red Letter Challenge has been an encouragement to them already. And so uh, that is a blessing. I would love to hear stories. I'd love to hear comments. You can email them to me. You can write them in Facebook uh, comment section. Or you could just stop in a visit. I would love to visit with you about what God is doing and how Red Letter Challenge is blessing you. Next thing I want to share with you is good news. More books are here. Sunday we ran out of books. We ordered more and they are here today. So if you didn't get one on Sunday or maybe you've been sharing a book with someone uh, this week in the readings, definitely encourage you to pick up your own individual book, especially as we get into daily challenge activities starting next week. It is going to be awesome for you to have your own book so you can write notes about the activities so uh, you can just make notes to yourself that you can go back to and, and see and, and maybe a challenge didn't work so well that day you can write in in the book what was a barrier or what didn't work very well so uh, definitely pick up a book or, or maybe you've been talking to somebody about red letter challenge you're like someone in the community you're like oh man that sounds really good this is for anybody. So if there's someone, a friend of yours in the community that you know, you've been talking to about, hey, we're doing this Red Letter Challenge at church. We've got more. Invite them to come and pick one up and, uh, to join us with this Red Letter Challenge so we can put Jesus' words into action in our lives. You know, this week, uh, reading so far, have just been a huge blessing to me. Monday, uh, or actually, excuse me, Tuesday, actually, we started focusing on our five focuses and five targets. And, and Tuesday's reading was about being. And we're going to focus a lot on this on Sunday in the sermon and Bible study. And, and this will be the target of next week's readings. And I really, really was reminded that if we are going to put Jesus' words into practice, it starts with being with him regularly and consistently and, and it was mentioned in the book uh, several different ways that that can happen and we'll talk more about that on Sunday but if we're, we're truly going to have the strength and the power to put Jesus' words into action we can't you know do them on our own you know we we need to be with Jesus we need to be connected to his power to his strength each and every day regularly consistently being and spending time with Jesus Yesterday's readings on Wednesday were, were about forgiving, and I, I loved the quote in the book. It, it, it was about the fact that there is no sin too big that God did not die for on the cross. And I pray that was a blessing to you, because a lot of times we can get kind of paralyzed because of, of sin in our life, and, and, and maybe... We are paralyzed because of, of choices we've made years ago. And, and we just feel like maybe that, oh, there's no hope for me anymore, that God can't use me. And yesterday's reading, I hope, was a, a great reminder that Jesus paid the price for, those, for all of your sins. Even that one you think is so big that there was no way that God can forgive me for. He can and he has by Jesus' death on the cross, Jesus paid the price for you. Even that really, really big sin in your life, he's forgiven you. And you can live today free, chains gone, free to live for him. It's gone. And, and so I really want to encourage you. And, and I can't wait for that week of readings on forgiveness. And I pray it's going to be a blessing uh, to you and the activities during the week of forgiveness. Today, uh, focus is on serving. Maybe you've gotten a chance to do the reading yet. Maybe you haven't. But today's focus is on serving and, and really about how our serving flows from the fact that Jesus first came and served us by coming to this world 
serving us by living a perfect life, by dying on a cross, and by rising again. And we serve him because he has first served us. And we serve, uh, we serve others because he has first served us. And, and so uh, I really want to encourage you to, uh, to, to continue to be, be thinking and, and focusing on those things. If you've fallen behind already, I want to really want to encourage you, don't give up. You know, the, the readings are short. It, it won't take too long to get caught up this week. But to just keep persevering and, and keep going on. You know, maybe you're already a day or two behind. It's all right. You know, take the time. Get caught up. Don't be discouraged. Keep persevering because it will be a blessing to you uh, if you keep persevering, if you keep doing the readings each and every day. Also, really want to remind you to invite... Number one, as we talked about on Monday, invite Jesus into your daily reading uh, to be a part of, uh, of that, to give you the strength to live out your faith. But really want to encourage you, invite someone to do this challenge with you. Invite someone to do this journey with you. Because when you do, it's going to give you that accountability to, to keep going on. And well, if I know I'm, I'm going to be talking with someone about the readings today, or I'm going to be touching base with someone at church about the readings or my spouse, gives you that encouragement and that accountability like I really need to carve out this time today to to read because I'm going to be talking about it uh, with somebody else and so if you haven't found someone yet really really want to encourage you to invite someone to do this journey and, and maybe again it's someone you've been talking to in the community and, and and you've been talking to them about it and they're wanting to know more about it Tell them more about it. Invite them to, to come to church and, and hear the sermons or uh, to to you know, do the daily readings, pick up a book, and, and be a part of this. Again, the goal, as we talked about last Sunday, is so that we can put Jesus' words into action in our lives so we can be the Christ followers that he desires of us. And so uh, I, I pray these first few days have been a blessing, and I look forward to seeing you on Sunday for our focus, uh, our first uh, focus on being and again, if, you, if you're having, if you're seeing God work already in different ways, I'd love to hear about it. So shoot me an email, uh, call me up, or just stop in and visit, and I would love to, to hear more about what God is doing. God's blessings. We'll hope to see you on Sunday.